on uh, Instagram. I had to, um, my timer had went up. All right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, somebody asked me about the Bivens Act. Uh, I've heard about it. I haven't read it, so I, I don't have really much information on it. All right, so we back on Instagram. What's up, Instagram? Peace, 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 peace. For those that's been following, make sure you share. Make sure you share part two, part two, part two, part two, part two. Okay. All right, so now, and, um, for those that don't understand, remember, you kind of got to look at it like um, when a cop, when an undercover cop plants drugs on someone, all right, the crime isn't committed when they plant the drugs. The crime is committed when their the person go and retrieve those drugs or does anything with those drugs. All right. So meaning in our in our perspective, all right, when we enter a contract, when we receive our bill, okay, once we go and try to accept the bill and use the money that the corporation sent us every month. Let me say it again. All right, because that again that goes over a lot of people's head. All right, we're supposed to be using the money these corporations sends us every month. They're sending us payment, family. So for those that say they didn't pay me, yes, they did. They did, but the thing is, they uh, a lot would be in with that in that grid during yeah. Okay. Oh snap! I had to push some. Okay, cool. All right, so you got to remember, they did, they paid you every month. The problem is they're not allowing you to use your own payment. You understand that? They're not allowing you to use your own payment. That's why it's discrimination as well. Because if I can't use my own securities, if I can't use my own benefits from the securities, now you're holding me out of my benefits. Now you're holding me out of my home. Now you're holding me out of my uh, my rights. You're impeding me. You're impeding my rights first and foremost. All right, but you treat me like a child when I'm expressionally telling you that I have capacity to contract. All right, so if I tell you I got capacity to contract and I'm I'm right here, I'm a, I'm a I'm a living man. I can read. I can speak. I can write. All right, you're still telling me no. I can. I'm I'm pretty much offended right now, and you know I'm I'm pretty much embarrassed right now. Now right now I don't look like I that I have the Constitution protecting me right now. Y'all gotta understand when you go in any courtroom, the very first thing, no matter what the the matter is, the very first thing you want to ask the judge is, do you uphold your oath to the Constitution? Because the Constitution is what you're going to stay on. You're not going to go off of it. A lot of people make a lot of this stuff super hard, super duper difficult for no reason. Okay, all you got to do is literally say what you read. But you can't say what you read if you're not reading. All you can say is what somebody told you, right? Right. All right, so when you understand, like, well, you got to bound the judge because once you bound the judge to the Constitution, now you can use the Constitution as your defense, and that's what we're supposed to be doing. Okay, that's what you're supposed to be doing. All right? Uh, somebody said I got cut off on mutuality. So Instagram, um, the six, so let me go over them again. The six elements of a contract, all right, is contractual offer, that means somebody gave you an offer, all right, there's acceptance, that means you accepted it, there's consideration, right now, the consideration is up in the air because we have yet to go use our consideration for them to tell us no, now we can dictate rather we got consideration or not, because if not, now we can say, well, this contract is so fraudulent or it is, is, is an illegal contract because there's no consideration tied to it because now the corporation has to say things like well there is consideration we gave you a car and now i can say well things like objection the, the car was not my consideration consideration is interest that is due to my principal all right that's why we're here for everything goes to the principal that's why they say the principal account that's why they be like your principal's balance all right that's my principal's balance since i'm control of my principal's balance all right i'm control of my oh, my bad if i'm control of my principal's account i'm control i'm in control of the principal's balance i'm here to transfer that principal's interest to the principal's accounts on behalf of the principal that's my expression like when you're telling me no who are you well, let's go get this in front of a judge then or arbitration okay because you can only do so much family before you have to go make a claim but the problem is a lot of people are trying to sue for breach of contract because they heard me say it all right and a lot of y'all not even using the contract as an exhibit 
Y'all literally going suing for breach of contract, and your first exhibit is an endorsed bill. You got to use the contract as the first exhibit because you're suing for a breach of contract. That's like having, uh, that's like trying to ask him for a peanut butter and jelly with no jelly. All right, you might as well just say it's a peanut butter sandwich. All right, meaning you just saying breach of blank because you're not even using the contract. So you're just saying breach of blank. You can't say contract because you're not even using the contract as an exhibit A. All right. So that's why folks are losing. It's not because of the process, it's because people are not understanding what's going on. They're getting the class and just think, oh, this is easy. Let me just go ahead and go sue for breach contract. They, they told me no. So let me go sue for breach contract. And then they, they don't get nowhere. Okay. All right. Uh, somebody said it's mind blowing how folks think you're scamming when you reading law. It, it's, I, I don't know, fam. I, I, I be saying the same thing, man. But they'll go to somebody that's paying bills that's not using interest and go listen to them before they'll come over here and just shut up and just listen to the information. Maybe it'll help you. You ain't got. I can never be exposed. Once you win a championship, they can't come take it from me. Y'all trying to Reggie Bush me. You can't. And y'all see they gave Reggie Bush his, his trophy back, right? Right. Alright, right. Alright, right. Alright, right. Okay, right. Alright? So once you get remedy family, no one can tell you nothing. Okay, nothing. That's why I try to tell folks, focus on remedy. Only way to get remedy is build your 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 uh um your understanding of it, like meaning your comprehension. All right, a lot of people are just reading just to read and not reading to comprehend. Remember the interest, all right. The only way you can tell if you have consideration in your contract is if you go and endorse all right, that bill, or if I should, I say endorse the whole damn contract, so you don't got to keep doing that month to month. All right, and I know there's somebody saying, well, what about my utilities? I don't have a contract. Yes, you do. How did you sign up? And I don't mean to be, you know, aggressive, but like, come on. Yes, you do have a damn contract. All, all of y'all have contracts. If you're paying a damn bill, you're inside of a contract. And I'm not selling trying to get out of the contract. I'm telling you how to use the benefits inside the contract. I'm not telling you to go rescind all your contract. I'm saying utilize the benefits that you're owed. Okay? You do. A, a, an agreement is a contract. Again, I'm going to say it again. An agreement is a contract. Okay? For those that got credit cards, well, I don't have a contract. Yes, you do. You have an agreement. That's the contract. But that's also to show you as a whole how we don't even have the documents that we need at our fingertips. I mean, if we went to court right now and tried to explain it in the contract, we wouldn't even know what to say. Because, like, oh, Your Honor, I don't have the contract today. Imagine a corporation suing for breach of contract but not having the contract. And then me saying uh, motion and dismiss for lack of evidence because they don't have a contract or they don't have a claim. They will never do that. That's why most time when you get evicted or any type of lawsuit, the very first exhibit is the contract. They say this is a, we have a signed contract between me and them. All right. One of the parties did not pay and we're coming forth. OK, to get a resolution. OK. All right. So, yes. Yeah, so your very first step is to get all your disclosures. All right. Meaning go get your agreements. All right, how do I get this? You go through your email. Some people say, well, I don't have an email. But well, what email did you give them when you opened the account up, family? We got to be smarter. We got to be more intelligent. It's 2024, so they say, okay? So with all this intro, all this technology going on, there's a lot of us walking around saying, well, you know I'm old school, bro. So, you know, well, who cares? This isn't old school. Who cares? Who cares if you're old school? What? I don't even know why people say that. Well, you know, I, I'm a little different. I'm a little old school. I'm a, well, that lets me know you don't know how to adapt with the times. Meaning you're definitely going to lose. All right? All right? Y'all remember when the NBA game got quick? People started shooting threes. Them light-skinned brothers from Golden State started shooting the, the, shooting the, the net off the rim. 
What everybody start doing? Changing their teams around? Because we got to adapt. We got to keep up with these light-skinned brothers. What? They shooting the skin off the ball. Okay? That's the same thing with this. A lot of y'all try to walk around here. Well, you know, oh, I ain't with all that technology. Oh, I, 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 I. What? What do you think you are? You think you're in the 40s or 50s still? And that's the problem, family. That's the problem. So many people tell you, man, I, I'm old school. I, You know, I still go by the old ways. Well, that's why. Them old ways got nobody nowhere. Okay? Just go ask. Just go ask. Go ask. Now, we're not talking about morals. Y'all want old school morals, but I'm talking about being able to adapt with the times, with the technology. You can't keep saying, well, I'm old school. You know, I don't, I don't learn like everybody. Well, are you disabled? Man, I love when people tell me that. Well, you know, I'm different. I don't learn like everybody. And I'd be like, well, are you disabled? They're like, no, I'm not disabled. Well, well, what are you talking about then? Can you read? Can you write? People are like, well, I learn different. Well, are you disabled? You keep saying that. <laughs> <laughs> people keep saying that well you know i learned different are you disabled because you got to ask yourself that like what well, damn because every time you say i'm different i'm different you're you're telling yourself i don't learn like everyone else means i might be disabled somebody somewhere saying no that doesn't mean that maybe you're just right like well however you want to paint it up okay put a bow and tie on it okay however you want to say it doesn't matter all right all right Cousins, what's your question, brother? What's your question, brother? Yeah, you're right. I, I did lodges now. I said I wasn't asking questions. Uh, I did answer questions. All right. Let me go answer your question. What's your question, family? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I'll answer. Yeah, any question, family? Just ask me any question. Just him, though. Nobody asked me a bunch of questions. Just him. All right. Yeah, so exactly. Some of us do have learning disabilities. And y'all know what's one of the number one types of learning disabilities? Laziness. Yes. Yes. Did y'all know? Did y'all know? All right. Did y'all know that's the leading cause to a lot of disabilities? All right. Lazy. The, the, the choice not to get better. Choosing not to get better. Okay. All right. Think about it. How many people use that as a, well, you know, I ain't got the best mind, so, you know. Well, what, why not? What the, what the hell you been doing that we ain't been doing? Why your mind? What, what's wrong with it? You get into a car accident or something? Did you? What are you talking about? It's like we get old and just start getting get dumb. Like, well, you know, I don't know all them numbers. Why not? Why not? Why? Okay, and we've been so scared to challenge people. Like, man, I ain't trying to argue with people. Man, what? I argue with people all damn day. What? Why? Why are you choosing to go to work when you know me? Why? Why? Why are you going to work when you know me? Why? What are you doing? Why? Why are you going there? What are you about to do with that paycheck? Huh? Why? For what? Have you read? Why not? <laughs> And you know, folks be late with, well, you know, man, you know, man, things be happening, man. You know, da, 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 da. It's be like, wah, 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 wah. Folks got a hundred excuses, y'all. The fact that there's folks out here doing it is that means there's no excuse for those that aren't doing it. You're choosing not to do it. You're not disabled. Okay? Ain't nothing wrong with you. Okay? All right? You acting slow. You acting stupid. You back. You've been acting so. You been acting slow for so long that now you have accepted. Maybe I'm slow. You know what? Maybe. I remember I was going back and forth with somebody, and they would. They didn't really realize they were showing their IQ to the masses. They was like, maybe we like to work. Maybe we don't want to read all that stuff. <laughs> and I'd be like, yo, what? And I'd just be trolling. Like, what? You peasant. 
You loser. I'm a loser because I love to work. I'm a loser because I don't want to read. And I'll be like, yo, it's people like this that walks around. And they just think they're right. That's why I say we need to bring bullying back. TikTok, I understand if you restrict me for saying that. Okay? But we got to bring it back, family. The informed got to start bullying the uninformed. It got to. All right? Because when you was in school, you didn't say certain things. So you said something, they're like, man, shut up. Shut your stupid. Shut up. Shut up. Somebody says something to you. When your breath stinks, somebody says, so, hey, man, your mouth stank. Boy, did you brush your teeth? Boy, your breath smell like toilet. All right, we used to get on your head, okay? When you wore not, not the best clothes. You know, kids is truthfully honest, and sometimes it's brutal, okay? You know, most kids don't know how to wipe their ass because a lot of kids smell like shit. We're like, Hector, why you smell like shit? You know, and now we embarrassing Hector. He's like... No kids gonna kids gonna say ew. He smells like poop. <laughs> we gotta start doing that. Ew. He's still working when there's laws out here saying he does it. Ew. What are you doing? You got folks out here flashing money, else, man. If you don't get that motherfucker, if you don't get that money out my damn face. What? You incompetent street soldier? That's how I look at my old self. I, when I used to like trapping the things like that, just knew I was getting it. I thought my trap was booming. I, man, what? I was able to start selling 40s, uh, 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 Ace for 40. You know, I got, I got, to, got to the 45 range. I thought I was booming. What? What? Started getting to I was selling grams for $20. Man, what? I was booming. Now nah, I just look at like I was just a, man, what? An uninformed toy street soldier. That's all I look at it now. Because what I was doing all that for what? And folks will tell you quick, if it ain't about money, it ain't about nothing, you don't even know money. I'm talking to my old self, right? I'm like, old self, you don't even know money. Shut up. If it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. Meaning we doing all this for some sense. But they're not the common sense. We doing this for some change. How many of us say things like, I need all my coins. Think of how peasant level we have become. I need all my coins. I need every single dollar. I need it all. I ain't leaving not a cent on the table. I'm like, man, if you cared that much, you would think a person would be willing to read. If you if you want money that much, okay? But again, folks, be capping. When you start really talking to a person, like, ah, man, you ain't about, man, shut up. You ain't about no... Yeah, you don't really want to elevate. It just sounds good. You know, people that get multiple jobs, it sounds good. Well, I got two jobs. And don't be the man that got two jobs and you got a woman. She telling all her friends, my man got three jobs. <laughs> and I'm not laughing at anyone. I'm laughing with us because we're a family. Okay? We're, we're in this system together. This is the United States. Welcome. All right, the American dream, if you know what's going on. All right? So, again, don't get offended. All right, the worst thing you can do is get offended by what I say. The worst thing you can do is get offended like, man, he ain't talking about nothing. Let me go ahead and go back to work. What? People be telling themselves that, man, he, man, what? I ain't listening to him, man. Let me go back to trapping. What? What? And if y'all ever see me in the comments going back and forth, somebody, y'all, y'all ever see people, I try to tell, I'll be like, man, just go back to you, whatever you're doing then, peasant. Then they try to tell me their life story. They'd be like, my company is well off. Okay. My company is well off. All right. I've been in business for five years. Okay. And I'd be like, man, shut up. Who cares? You're not collecting any interest. My friend, to the government, you're dead. So I'm not, I'm right now, I'm talking to a dead person. I shouldn't even be talking to you. You don't exist. Okay? And that's the honest truth. I would want somebody to talk to me like that. Like, what, bro, who you talking to? I work hard for my money. I put food on the table. And I want somebody to be like, hey, man, hold on, man. Before you get to your little run, did you know food stamps is free as long as you don't have reported income? And a lot of people think that's a scam. And I'm literally telling you, hey, 
don't get a job, learn contracts so you can use interest to pay your bills, and so you can get free food stamps. Because you literally waive your rights to food stamps every time you go get a job. Okay? All right? So that's what it is. So before y'all get into your rent, like I work hard for my, I'm here to let you know, and I'm talking to my older self, sometimes we do a lot of nothing to get nowhere. Some of us been working for 30 years and don't got more than 2000 in our savings. Not to mention, some of us got 100000 in savings. What are you saving? Y'all know why they tell people like us, all right, meaning the middle class, lower class, to save your money because we know you don't know contracting and you better save your money for a rainy day. Y'all think they telling the wealthy to save money? There's no law that says anything about saving money. Not nothing. It always talks about investing. It talks about uh, negotiable bills and things. Like, it don't never say nothing about save money. Then I start reading, like, oh, man, God, government don't want to save money. Because why would you save money? What are you saving? Saving for a rainy day. That's why they got umbrellas. Go get you an umbrella. I'm talking about rainy day. That's the worst analogy ever. I'm saving money for a rainy day. What? Rainy day of what? Because you're thinking it's going to rain debt on you one day and you need money to pay the debt. And that whole mindset right there is insanity. Crazy. Insanity. Okay? You got some people trapping to make, oh, I'm, as soon as I get to 100K, I'm going to stop. You never got there. Because every on the on the road to a hundred thousand, you got you kept getting hit, you kept getting robbed, you kept getting stopped by the police, you kept having to go re up the re up money to go re up the re up money. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a whole list of things, fam. What happens when we're not informed? All right, it's a whole list of things. Okay, we're supposed to be sitting back, enjoying life, reading laws, enforcing rights. Damn that rhyme. We're supposed to be sitting back. Damn, I don't even know what I said just now. I know it wrong, okay? But sitting back, okay? Being peaceful, chilling, okay? And then enforcing rights. That's what's supposed to happen. Yeah, y'all ever had to re-up the re-up money? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What? Yeah, I might be I might be down a little too deep. <laughs> that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother broke, okay? You got a man, what? Man, that phone blowing like, shh, can't answer that one right now. Oh, my God. Yeah, but I'm glad I'm out that life. Sheesh. Oh, my sheesh. Some of those guys are terrifying. Sheesh. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm just letting you know. Some of You don't got to be in positions that you don't want to be in, family. OK, a lot of folks are doing things that they think they got to do. And I'm here to let you know this information is here to save you, family. OK, and it's free. Now, of course, I can't be doing hours and hours of this for free. You see what I'm saying? So when people ask me, well, why do you charge money? Then well, I got to get something you know, a common thing that we can come to with is, you know, it's the money that we can relate on. OK. All right. So, with that being said, um, the contract, the very first thing you want to do is go get all the contracts on all your accounts. All right, how can I do that? You want to go through your email. Whatever email is attached with that um, bill, you want to go ahead and um, uh, go to your email, find that. That's like one of the first emails they sent you for that corporation. Let's say you can't find the email. This is what I'm doing. I'm making a phone call. I'm saying things like, hey, um, I just came. Look, listen, y'all, please listen to what I'm saying. Hey, I'm calling because I just came into some money and I want to go ahead and pay off all my debts. I need a copy of the contract, though. Can you please help me with that? All right. Now, you probably got to say that whole I came into some money. I want to pay all my debts. You know, I just say that just kind of. Oh, my gosh. All right. Yes, sir. We'll get that right over to you. You know, because they try. You know what I'm saying? They're going to do their job. So it's like now they're going to send me the whole contract. Now I can read it. I can redress it. Okay. 
for those that need help with redressing their contract, I will use ChatGBT for free because it's helpful. Go to ChatGBT, ask things like, hey, what are some steps of redressing my contract? ChatGBT is going to break everything down for you. All right. For those that need to find the financial institution for where your rents are being held. All right. Meaning for those that are paying rent. All right. You need to find out what bank is attached to your landlord. Remember, your landlord is not the bank. All right, the landlord is not the bank, so you need to send them a letter requesting the location of the financial institution of where your rents are being held. Okay, so you can look in, go to ChatGBT, ask, hey, ChatGBT, how do I write a letter requesting location of the financial institution that's holding my rents? It's literally going to tell you. All right, it's literally going to tell you. All right, if I need to write a letter, hey, ChatGBT, how should I format my letter if I need to s send a notice of opportunity to cure to a corporation? Y'all know what ChatGBT going to do? <laughs> yes, the reason you need to say this, da -da 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 -da. now it's not going to give you legal advice. All right, so if a lot of y'all that don't, that don't read, y'all going to try to use the AI to read for you, and you're going to lose. I'm here to let you know you got to read, do your due diligence. It's going to make ChatGBT easier to use. I'm not telling you to rely on ChatGBT. I'm telling you to use your own due diligence and then take it over to ChatGBT. Chat I didn't know nothing about ChatGBT all right, when I got Remedy. All right, and I was even telling people, man, y'all better stay off that man. All right, but now when I go, and I'm like, oh, my God, I'm tripping. I'm, like, being old school, not adapting with times. Man, what? Jet, Jet, GBT is definitely helpful. I was over there trying to be an old head. Like, man, I ain't with all that AI. All right, but now I'm like, yo. When somebody asks me, hey, man, I need help with my letter, Chat GBT. Go ahead, go to Chat GBT. To ask, ask Chat GBT because that's free. All right, because my time isn't free. I'm not about to sit down with somebody that's in a desperate situation and say, hey, go to like, hey, no, y'all know how stressful it is working with desperate people. Imagine a, uh, an environment where you just working with desperate people all day. Imagine what that does to your energy. Imagine what that does to your mental. OK, now you start taking that energy to the people that aren't desperate, you know. All right. So me, that's why I try to tell, show people how to fish for themselves, how to read for themselves. OK, I don't I don't really do accounts for people. A lot of people come to me and say, hey, can you, how much you charge for to do it for me? I don't do it for anybody. OK. I don't do anything for you. OK, so, yes, reading is key. Um, so yes, right now we hit 80,000 followers on, um, Instagram. So with that being said, each one of my classes are $80. You can get all my classes right now for 240. That's four classes for the price of 240. I threw one in there for free as well. So I got a beginner course, Endorse Enforce, that shows you how to endorse your bill. It shows you exactly how to structure your documents. Okay. So let me, let me go through the class that you get in the bundle. So for 240, you get my beginner course. Seven hours long, breaking down all the acts that you need so you can get a remedy. It's not all the acts in the world, okay? Just specific acts that will help you understand what's going on, okay? Uh, another class is my Enforce Endorse Reloaded, okay? That's my um, class showing you how to properly endorse your bill step by step with goals on the bill, with goals on the contract, with goals on your letters, okay? Because you got to send three letters out. All right, we also break down what your power of attorney looks like. All right, that's an enforce endorse. My third class is to never pay rent again. All right, but what I advise you, just because you get the class, please don't let the title mislead you. Keep paying your rent, okay, until you get a remedy. All right, some some of us can basically take that wolf route, which is basically book, don't pay anything, and still be able to enforce. Now, that's a very difficult process for those that don't understand. That's why I try to tell folks, y'all, keep paying your bills. There's this word going around saying I, I'm telling people to not pay their bills. That's not what I'm here to tell folks, family. I'm giving you another option. Keep paying your bills how you've been paying them until you understand how to perform. That way, all the money that you've paid out of your pocket that's over $1 ends up being unearned interest. Y'all remember we talked about interest, right? Now we're about to talk about unearned interest. Unearned interest is when you give a corporation a gift when you didn't intend it for it to be a gift, meaning it was unearned interest given. So pursuant to 15 U.S.C. 1615, 
Again, that's 15 USC 1615. All right, it talks about unearned interest and prompt refunds where the creditor must re refund the consumer. Now, for those that get caught up in like, well, I thought you said we're the creditor. Remember, we're the original creditor and we transfer our rights and our powers over to these acting creditors. So remember I told you we kind of uh, um, uplift bosses, right? We put people in boss situations and sometimes they get carried away with and forget who gave them that power from the get-go. It's us. So we're the original creditors. We give, we transfer powers to acting creditors who are supposed to transfer the powers back to us when we claim. Okay, so when you read the 15 U.S.C. 1615, don't get confused when it says the creditor is supposed to refund the consumer. You got to understand who the consumer is. The consumer is your all caps name. Um, that code is 15 U.S.C. 1615. Make sure y'all um, drop that in the comments for those that that just came in. Um, but it specifically talks about after you prepay in full any consumer credit transaction. All right, remember we talked about a prepayment when we come forth and express, hey, I want to go ahead and use the interest to go ahead and satisfy the payment. That's us going ahead and using our prepayment because you got to remember our application uh, uh, um, sent in is the prepayment. But the problem is we didn't express it, so now we can express it, okay? And after we do our prepayment, now they owe us every single day. Um, dollar that we came out of pocket. It literally says that. It literally says the only time you don't get a refund is if it's less than one dollar. Now, y'all tell me how many accounts that you have that you opened up with your social that the account is less than one dollar. All right, so you kind of got to understand how Congress is. Congress literally say stuff. They be, I think they be saying a lot of humor. I'm like, man, what? This is hilarious because they're literally saying anything over one dollar we're supposed to get back. And I'm like, damn. So if I paid off my house, everything over one dollar. Okay, yes, that's why. Yes, well, all somebody think like, well, is he mean? I'm supposed to get all. Yes, my friend, that's why you're supposed to be too busy reading these laws rather than going to work. You ain't learning nothing at work, not nothing. Not nothing. You're not gaining nothing at work. I don't care what nobody says. Unless you a surgeon or something, you know what I'm saying? You saving the world, you know what I'm saying? You a guidance counselor or something like that. All right, but if you pushing buttons, my friend, come on now. All right, I hate to say it, but you're doing nothing, okay? You're not helping the the, uh, the economy, okay? And a lot of people say, well, I don't, care. I don't care about the economy. I just care about my family. If you cared about your family, you'd care about the economy because your lack of knowledge is the reason why the debt is so high. It's, it's like $38 trillion, $68 trillion, something like that. And that's because the consumers aren't claiming their credits, and the credit is turning to debt, and it's just sitting there. All right, so that's why the United States always report, yo, uh, 68 trillion debt. And then we make little jokes and memes like, who we owe? The Decepticons? Oh, my gosh, why are we going by credit score if our United States is broke? No, my friend, the United States is not broke. We're broke mentally. All right, we're wealthy brokies. We're the wealthiest, brokest people you ever meet. All right, you got people walking around here saying, I, ain't, I came from nothing. I, I ain't never had nothing. Mike, what are you talking about, man? You got a whole damn estate attached to your name, Goofy. What you talking about? You never came from nothing. All right? You just have never seen nothing, but you definitely came from something. You're a trust baby. We're all trust babies. All right? So I don't really, I'm not really around folks that kind of still talk about that whole, my life was hard. Like, man, your life wasn't hard. You was just broke and you didn't know what was going on. All right? Which all of us fall into the same category. Okay? Some of us go a little deeper than others. Some of us start doing drugs real bad because we broke and don't know what to do. Some of us get violent because we don't know what to do. Some of us start robbing and stuff like that because we don't know what to do. You see what I'm saying? But it all roots down to the same thing. We do not know contract law that's what it is family all right that's what it is okay um i have a class in atlanta the weekend of the 22nd which is what next week not this weekend next weekend we will be in atlanta okay going over this the same information so this was just a glimpse of a small piece of the information fam so as you can see there's no games on this side rather y'all whoever you're listening to it doesn't matter they said i'm this i'm that who cares they pay bills using income all right the only people we respect is people that get remedy using their rights 
All right. Make sure y'all see us in Atlanta. All right. Make sure y'all see us in Atlanta. Make sure y'all tap in. Least uh, seats are limited. All right. It's a two day event. It's a two day event. The whole slogan is info for the huncho. All right, meaning you're going to get all this information for $100. So make sure y'all come on down to Atlanta. Tell somebody to tell somebody. Okay, Atlanta is a beautiful city. We will be there that, that Saturday and Sunday. Okay, all right. So for those that don't know how our um, in-person goes, uh, we don't do any recording for people that's not there. So we kind of keep it like secretive. All right. So our LA class that we had, we had 283 people. Okay. Um, our Florida class, we had 270 people. All right. Also had a yacht event as well. Not recently. Okay. Not the recent one we did. All right, I'm talking about the very first one. Okay. So it'd be a great turnout, y'all. We got people that come around all around the country. We got folks that come from another country. One girl, one woman came from Canada all the way down to um, our Miami event. So that lets you know folks are traveling for this information. And we got a lot of followers that's, uh, that live in the UK, Canada. A lot of followers live in Australia. So there's a lot of different countries, you know, citizens trying to tap in with the same information. Why? Because a lot of us are still are under the uh, are under a one world order family we've been under one world order and that's why a lot of these laws travel now can someone in australia use the exact law 15 usc 1615 no family because that's the united states code okay but what that person in australia or canada will have to do or the uk you have to find your country's codes or the statutes or your constitution that's where i would start off Okay, I know for a fact uh, Canada's Bill of Exchange Act is way easier to read. That's what I started with. Did I do it? Have I ever lived in Canada? No, but when I read that, I knew the United States had a Bill of Exchange, but it was just easier. Canada broke it down so simple. I'm like, okay. And every time I got to a Canadian part, I just skipped past it. All right, I would just go straight to, okay, what is a bill? They say the only way to pay a bill is with interest. I know that the banks are supposed to pay interest. That lets me know the banks are supposed to pay the bill. And they do that every month when they send a positive balance bill to us every month. Okay? So when you start to really see what's going on, family, it's not really difficult to understand. But what you're going to have to do is read. That's for sure. Ain't no shortcuts about it. You can take a billion classes. If you don't read, family, you're going to get nowhere. There's somebody right now that's been able to buy all my classes, and they probably still don't have remedy. Some people will blame me. Okay? Some people will blame myself. All right? All right? So with that being said, make sure y'all tap in with the classes. Uh, links in my bio. If you can't make it to Atlanta, make sure you take advantage of the bundle deal that we have going on right now. Um, that is, you can get all my classes, four of my classes for two forty. Um, and we're also throwing in the free class as well, y'all. So you're literally getting a whole curriculum, a whole semester of of classes. Okay, all right. And if you don't get remedy from that, it's not the information, my friend. It's you. Okay, it's you. All right, y'all. So with that being said, y'all, peace, love. Make sure y'all be safe. Make sure y'all be happy. All right? Make sure y'all be kind. Peace.